All right, welcome back to CBS 4 Live at 5. As you saw, all eyes are on state Starbase today for the 6 SpaceX launch. You just saw that happen live moments ago. And there are thousands of people that hit the road to get to Boca Chica for the big launch. Our CBS 4 anchor Derek Garcia taking a break from the desk out in the field. Derek, you have been covering the historical event. You were there from the beginning. How is it looking now? Yeah, hey, Cindy, that's exactly why they are calling SpaceX's sixth launch a success. Now, they call it a success because it was able to successfully start up that Raptor engine while in space for the first time ever. But it passed up catching the booster with the giant mechanical arms known as the chopsticks, also known as the Mechazilla. Now, the booster was directed to a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. The catch was called off just four minutes into the test flight for unspecified reasons, and the booster hit the water just three minutes later. Now, SpaceX hasn't specified just exactly what went wrong, but for so many of the people that were out here today, it's not about what went wrong. It's about what SpaceX is doing right. Many of them feel that they are watching America win the new age space race with Elon Musk and now President-elect Donald Trump at the controls, quite literally. I spoke with an astronomer from Poland who had to be here to witness history and the future all happening at the same time. We know this is important. We know this is the biggest rocket in history. We know this is a rocket that will change our future, bring us to Mars. And I want to be part of it, to see it with my own eyes. I can see it right now. Um, and tell the people that this is important. And to, to be here, this is the, the great way to do that. Now, the sixth launch had much of the same plan as the fifth launch back in October. The same flight plan path as this last time, but it changed with this later launch. That way they could have better lighting when the splashdown happens over in the Indian Ocean. That's because they are 13 hours ahead of us. And as Sydney, everyone just saw right now, that splashdown was happening in a different time zone. So in a lot of ways, the people that were watching all of this happening in real time, again, they say that they are watching history, but the future all happening in real time right here at Isla Blanca Park. Reporting live from Isla Blanca Park, I'm Derek Garcia. Sydney, we'll send it back to you in the studio.